Hello, this is Seher from Easy Peasy and the topic that we are going to discuss today is called as small nucleolar RNA. Small nucleolar RNA also belong to the small non-coding RNA category. It has nucleotides from 60 to 300. The location of small nucleolar RNA is the nucleolus of the cell. Now, as we know, that ribosomal synthesis occurs inside the nucleolus. So, the function of small nucleolar RNA is post-transcriptional modification and maturation of ribosomal RNA, small nuclear RNA, and other cellular RNA. Now, we have two different types of SNO RNA. One type is called as C slash D box SNO RNA and the other type is called as H slash ACA box SNO RNA. Now why these two classes have these type of complex names here? Because they have some type of repetitive units. So in C slash D box, the repetitive units we have is called as box C and box D. Box C have repetition of nucleotides that are RUGA, UGA, in which R can be any kind of purine. So it can be adenine or it can be guanine. Box D has the repetitive nucleotides that are CUGA. Now in the picture, this blue line is representing the small nucleolar RNA. This gray portion is showing us that these are the repetitive units box D and box C. On the other hand, the second class that is H slash ACA box have repetitive units called as box H and box ACA. Box H have the sequence called as ANA NNA where N stands for any kind of nucleotide. So it can be guanine, cytosine, adenine, and uracil. Box ACA have the repetitive units called ACA. Again, look in the picture. This blue line is basically representing the small nucleolar RNA, and this gray portion is showing us that these are the repetitive units called as box H and box ACA. Now in this picture you can see we have red lines as well. Now these red lines are representing the ribosomal RNA here. The first class is going to do the post transcriptional modification on ribosomal RNA is 2 prime O methylation. Now what does that mean? It means that it's going to attach a methyl group to the carbon number 2 on the nucleotide of ribosomal RNA. On the other hand, the H slash ACA box SNO RNA do the post transcriptional modification on ribosomal RNA and that is pseudouridylation. Now what is pseudouridylation? It means that it will attach a pseudouridine nucleotide instead of a normal uracil inside the nucleotide of ribosomal RNA. Now, these type of modifications are necessary for the ribosome maturation. When the ribosomes will get mature, it can perform its function so it will be happy. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe my channel.